So Dr. Diaz, we know that uh, storytelling is important, especially during the job interview. We know that uh, in, uh, the recruiter or the hiring manager will ask, tell me about the time, or they will ask behavioral questions to the candidate. So in your opinion, is there any technique or is there any way they can practice and make their storytelling te techniques better? I usually give the following advice to to people who are going for interviews. Um, th there are two things that the, every interview process will usually entail. One, look at the job description for the job that you're interviewing for, and they are usually looking for a specific set of skills. Yes, you must have uh, negotiation or accounting ability or or uh, working teams, whatever it is that the job specifically says. You must prepare one to three stories for mm -hmm. each of the things that they're asking about, because the likely interview process is going to be, as you described, a question that says, you know, we really need somebody who is a team player here. Tell me about a time that you were a team player. Yes. The better interview process will ask you, OK, that was a great story. Tell me another one. Mm -hmm. And then that another great story. Tell me another one. They will keep asking for stories. So that's why you should prepare at least one, but as many as three. Once yeah. they get three stories, they're sort of okay. Uh, the same is true of, you know, you go to the company website and there'll be a series of values of the company. Yeah. They value whatever it is, teamwork or integrity. Or to, same thing. You should prepare one to three uh, stories uh, around each of those values because you are also very likely to be asked questions about yeah. those. Now, yeah. what should the stories tell? The stories usually need to be more or less in the same way, which is, uh, what was it about? That was the first point. So the story was about the time where we had a team, where we had two people that were in conflict, and then how did I work to resolve that conflict? Yeah. So you must first lay out what the story is about. Then you tell what your part in it was because they're really not interested in, in what happened. What they're really interested in is what did you do to yeah. make it happen? And then the third part of the story needs to be the conclusion. What happened at the end? So did, was the outcome achieved? But more importantly, what did you learn from that particular story? So... There may be some of the points where you have no story to tell or only one story to tell. Your story may be weak. Don't try to embellish it. Don't try to lie through it. Uh, it will usually be transparent. Yeah. These guys that are doing interviews are usually quite good at, at having a, 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 a way to detect whether the stories yeah. are true. Yeah. And if you only have one that is halfway okay, but at least you can talk about it without making it up, if you make things up, what happens is you would have to make up three and you're not going to be that good to make yeah. up three. So my advice has always been, don't make anything up. Uh, if you're not really fit for the job, you're not fit for the job, there'll be another job for which you're going to be better fit. Um, yeah. Do that. So that, yeah. that's really the advice I always give. I tell my, my students or and the, and the people I'm helping in their job search, I as you mentioned, I tell them, go to the job posting the requirements or the qualification they are asking have something story related to that. And you can tell that I have done this, but as you mentioned, it's important the action part because sometimes we tell the story and we forget about the action or even we forget about the learning part because the learning part is important. It shows that you are always constantly learning, you're adapting and you're changing uh, whatever is coming to your way. And every story does not have to be a success, but yeah. every story must have been a learning opportunity for you. Yeah. And that is important to come back. Yeah. Thank you for those great tips, Dr. Diaz. Again, for the audience, if you have any other tips, you can leave them below. And tune in next time for my final question with Dr. Diaz.